guys, what is up and welcome back to another Call of Duty mobile video. So in this video, we're going to check out all the brand new characters and character skins coming to the game in Season 9. And there's actually a bunch of them that are super cool, so I cannot wait to go ahead and show you guys all of that. Now I do have a few quick announcements first. So firstly, I want to announce the winners of the previous giveaway, and each of these players did go ahead and win a battle pass. And I do want to say the way I choose the winner is by using a random comment picker, so it is 100% fair. So here are the three winners that each went ahead and won a battle pass. Firstly, we have the noob, you won a battle pass. We've got Chris the Goat YT, he won a battle pass, and then we have M4 Dara Gaming, you also won a battle pass. So congratulations to all three of you for each winning a battle pass. I hope all three of you are super excited. But anyways, before we hop into this video, I do want to say I did start a new giveaway, and this time it is going to be for four battle passes. And if you guys do want to enter, the steps is going to be the exact same to enter into the giveaway. So anyway guys, with all that out the way, that's all right into this video. So I want to start this off by saying a huge shout out and all the credit does go to Slash Gaming for all these character leaks that I'm going to show you guys right now. And also just to note, there is currently no in-game pictures of these characters guys. So what I have done, I have searched up the names of these characters that are in the game files and I'm going to show you guys how those characters look from previous Call of Duty Mobile games. Now obviously they might differ a little bit or they might differ a lot when they do come to the game, but this will give you an idea of how those character skins are possibly going to be looking when they do come in Season 9. So firstly we have the Undead Warden from Call of Duty World War 2 and he actually looks okay, not bad at all guys, he's wearing like a trench coat and it has like this gold trimming on there and I quite like the helmet, overall not a bad for his character and like I said guys, the Undead Warden is making its way all the way from Call of Duty World War 2. Next we have a female soldier and that is going to be Vivian Harris, a BAT agent guys and she's also making her way from COD World War 2. What do you guys think of her? Personally, I think we have better female soldiers in the game but I don't think it's bad by any means. So there we go guys, another female soldier is coming to the game. Next we have Takeo guys, who was the captain of the Imperial Japanese Army, but he did feature or he was in World at War Zombies as well as in Black Ops Zombies. So we're getting another Zombies character guys, but we still don't have Zombies and overall he looks cool, nothing wrong with him, but I really want to see Zombies back in the game. Like we're getting all the Zombies characters, but we still don't have Zombies. But anyway guys, Takeo is coming to Call of Duty Mobile, what do you guys think of him? Next we have Captain Carver Butcher, who is also from Call of Duty World War 2, which ties into the theme being World War 2 yet again guys. Now he was an officer in the British Special Forces, but this character was kind of special in World War 2 guys. Basically what he was, was a quartermaster in Call of Duty World War 2, and what you would do is go to him in the headquarters and you would pay to get contracts and collection pieces to finish off gun skins and stuff like that guys. Overall, he's pretty cool, nothing wrong with him and he just looks like a soldier you do not want to mess with. So anyway guys, he's coming to the game, what do you think of him? But let's move on to the next character skin. So this character is coming from Advanced Warfare and it is the Deep Sea Diver. And this is one of those crazy weird skins guys. And like all the Advanced Warfare skins are usually the weird and crazy ones. Like the clown we just got guys. This one looks cool. Nothing wrong with him, I actually quite like it a lot guys. I love Advanced Warfare and I love the Advanced Warfare skins. And this one over here is super funny guys. You had that old fashioned deep sea diving helmet on there. And you can see the exosuit from Advanced Warfare. And the skin also looks kind of gold. So yeah guys, I'll definitely be picking up the deep sea diver when it does come to the game. I like this one a lot so far. Next we have an actual zombie as a character. And again, we still don't have zombies. Card Mobile stop teasing us like this it is gonna be the witch warden from call of duty world war 2 again and this thing looks hella creepy guys look at it it's legit missing body parts the face looks super creepy this is the type of thing to give me nightmares at night guys but it's a dope skin one of the better skins so far guys very very cool but again we're getting so many like zombie related stuff but we still don't have zombies call of duty 
when are we going to be getting zombies again? Because I miss it so damn much. But the Witch Warden is an awesome skin, guys. Definitely cool. I wonder how it's going to be brought into the game because he looks very cool, guys. Let me know what you think of that skin. Do you think it's too creepy? Because, wow, I remember zombies in World War II was extremely creepy because the zombies actually looked super scary. But, yeah, the Witch Warden... Dope skin, I'm not afraid to say it guys, one of the best so far, especially if you love zombies. Next we have Richtofen, who is also from Call of Duty Zombies guys, and he is from World at War, as well as from Black Ops guys, and he was the scientist in the zombie storyline, so what do you think of him guys? Another zombies character, we're getting so many zombies characters, and I think it is pretty cool. Also he does tie together with that World War 2 theme, which so far I'm absolutely loving. Next, we have Victor Renzov, who was a huge part of Call of Duty World at War, and is also in the Black Ops series. He was a Russian squad leader of the Red Army in Call of Duty World at War during World War II, but he was also a playable character in the flashback level Project Nova in Call of Duty Black Ops. As you can see, guys, more World War II skins coming to the game, which confirms yet again, Season 9 is going to be a World War II theme. Now for the next character, we have Sergeant Kamarov. He was a Russian loyalist, frequently tasked with helping Captain Price's SAS squad, his task force 141 squad, and also Kamarov featured in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 3. So anyway guys, these are all the characters I do have examples of, and remember, these are just examples from previous Call of Duty games. They are probably going to be looking quite different when it does come to COD Mobile, but these characters are coming to the game. And and now I do have some more characters coming to the game, but for the rest of these skins guys, I do not have pictures or examples to show you guys, I'm just going to read you the name and what is going to be coming to the game. So the rest of the skins are going to be as follow guys, first do we have Battery Propaganda, we've got Terrence Brooks Eternal Darkness, we've got Elite PMC Woodland, Merc 1 American Plane, Scout 2 Blood in the Water, we've got Special Ops 2 Sewed Snake, We've got Merc 5 Blood in the Water, Special Ops 5 Ground Splitter, Nitto Stronghold, we've got Lev Kravchenko Soviet Dragon, we've got Emma Rich Rover Arch Angel, we've got American Bulldog, we've got Reaper Optimization Pilot World War 2, we've got Tainzer World War 2, and for the final character guys, we have Special Ops 1 Sewed Leather. So as you guys can see, quite a few brand new characters and skins coming to the game. Majority are going to be World War II themes, but also quite a few other ones as well, guys, that we do not currently know how they are going to look. All we know is the name and the name of the skin on that character. So far, guys, what do you think? What do you think of the World War II skins? Do you like them? Personally, I'm loving the World War II skins so far, guys, and I'm quite excited to see how the other ones are also going to look, the non-World War II skins. But anyways, that is going to be the video, guys, and thank you so much for watching the video, and for all the support, let me know down below what your favorite character is so far, and what do you think of all the World War II skins. So anyways, I hope all of you guys have a great day, thanks for the support, and I'll catch all of you guys tomorrow. Squally out. Cheers!